Hello and welcome to today's video. So full honesty, I already recorded this. The entire vlog portion of this video is done. I'm just sitting down to film the intro and like the outro today. So yeah, like I, I've just finished filming this about 10 minutes ago. I've just finished the last book. But basically this video is are all tour novellas worth the hype? Are all tour novellas like this amazing thing? I feel like for me, tour novellas you very much think of them as like they're going to be amazing they have to be amazing and definitely the feeling and consensus that i see on like bookstagram and booktube are this as well i don't know if i've ever heard like negatives towards any tour novella i'm personally aware of i'm sure there are some out there and i'm sure there's like novellas i've not heard of but yeah i'm just talking about what i've heard like I haven't. I feel like it's very widely thought of that tour are like top of their game in the novella world and the reason that i think this is both from what i see but i have already read murderbot and completely up to date on murderbot I have read everything that's currently published amazing series i can't remember what star rating i gave the first one but the series as a whole overall is a five star series for me and one of the books from this series made it onto my like best books of 2022 list absolutely great love it and then I've also read a couple of books of the Binti trilogy. I haven't finished this yet, but same sort of thing. Really, really enjoyed the first one. To be honest, the second one I didn't, but like the second one was all set up for the third one. But really enjoyed the first one. Really saw so much like merit to it and so many things that were great. So yeah, these are the two tour novellas that I've currently read. And I was like, wouldn't it be fun to get some tour novellas? Also an excuse for me to get some. And put them to the test are they worth it are they worth the hype and yeah i feel like that's basically the entire point of this so i will say the two that i've read so far are both sci-fi binti is a young adult sci-fi and murderbot or all systems red is what the first one is called is a adult sci-fi so they're both in that like general vein they're also both series that's it so i picked out four books to give a go and to try yeah i guess i should just tell you what they are i will show you them and tell you the basics i will go into the description and like the synopsis and the plot of what the actual book is when i get to that part of the vlog this is spoiler free there will be no spoilers in this so every heart a doorway is the first book that i picked up this is a young adult fantasy novella and this is a series this is book one of the series so we'll be reading this one and giving you my thoughts on this i've only heard amazing things i've heard so many good things about the series and i feel like if it's one i enjoy <laughs> um then i will definitely be continuing on with this series so yes that is the first one and then i also picked up fina this is a adult sci-fi series so Again, same sort of lines as like Murderbot, although I do think this is only a duology, I'm not entirely sure, but yeah. So another adult sci-fi series for this one, and this is the first book of the series. Then I pick up Comfort Move Apples. This is a standalone this time, so not a series. It is adult, um, but it's a horror, so first horror novella first horror i've read in a while as well um and then a song for the wild built this is a sci-fi adult series so yeah these are the four books that i will be picking up during this video the four books i'll be reading and rating and telling you my thoughts how the general video is going to go is i'm going to select a book i'm going to tell you the synopsis what my thoughts are what i already know about it i'm going to read a third of it I don't know why I decided on a third but it just seemed like a decent amount you kind of got introduced to the story but didn't know too much yet and I'll come in at the one third of the way mark and give you my first thoughts my initial feelings how I'm thinking of the book currently and then I will come back when I've finished the book and give you my rating and my overall thoughts and that is how it's worked for all of these that we're going to be seeing today so yeah i do really hope that you enjoyed the video I had a great time filming it and yeah let's find out if for me personally can i just pick up any tour novella i see and trust it um and yeah i'll come back at the end which for me will be a few seconds away and discuss what actually i do think and 
my thoughts and feelings towards this so yeah let's get into the video okay so i am about to get ready to go to bed i thought before i got ready to bed i'd talk about the first book i'm going to pick up first every heart a doorway i have the physical book here and i also have access to the audiobook on scribd not sure how i'm going to read it yet whether it's going to be just one just the other a mixture of both not sure but i thought we'd start off with this one this is going to be spoiler free if there's any reason at all that i feel the need to talk about spoilers i will make it extremely clear this is book one what is this book going to be about eleanor west's home for wayward children no solicitations no visitors no quests children have always disappeared under the right conditions slipping through the shadows under the bed or at the back of a wardrobe tumbling down rabbit holes and into old wells and emerging somewhere else but magical lands have little need for used up miracle children nancy tumbled once but now she's back the things she's experienced they change a person the children under miss west's care understand all too well and each of them is seeking a way back to their own fantasy world but nancy's arrival marks a change at the home there's a darkness just around each corner and when tragedy strikes it's up to nancy and her newfound schoolmates to get to the heart of things no matter the cost so yeah this is book one of quite a long series i think there's eight or nine books out in this now all i really know about it is each book follows a different main character all of these kids have been to a another world like through a magic portal it's kind of like portal fantasy but i don't actually know if we see any of that or if it is just the after effects of the portal fantasy and i know that one book will take place actually in the home and then the next book takes place somewhere else and it kind of goes to like books one three and five will take place in like the actual home and the ones in between will take place elsewhere they all follow characters uh you meet some characters before you get a book on them you don't for others yeah don't know that much about it that is literally all i've heard but i know it is a well loved series so i am really excited about this one and i do have quite high hopes so fingers crossed i'm going to read some and i'll probably check in in the morning with my initial thoughts on maybe maybe a third of it i'll maybe try and get a third of the way through but yeah we'll wait and see and i'll check in in the morning to the end of part one last night the page i got to actually just says i can find it part two with your looking glass eyes so that's where i left it honestly i wanted to keep reading it was so so good um i'm really enjoying it like yeah i spoke to my boyfriend a bit about it last night and i was like if it continues being this good it will be a book that like after i've finished with i pass on to him to read which is only like very automatically happened to one of the series it's so interesting it's written so good and like from this first bit we've kind of got the setup 
we know what this home is we know the person who runs it we know their background we've met our main character we kind of know what she's about we've met four secondary characters that we at least know something about and we know kind of like the size of where they are and we kind of just finished getting it explained to us exactly how these different worlds that are opened up through the portals are categorized in this home so that was really interesting like the only one that we got automatically at the start is was it a nonsense or a logic world that was the only one that was like automatically asked as soon as she got there but she had an orientation right at the end of the last part and it was kind of explained these are the different types of world these are like how they can be set up everyone comes from different ones and all this sort of thing and it was so so interesting really really enjoyed it so far really think it's good i'm really intrigued to see where it goes so i'm not really sure the intention of the book yet like is she just going to be trying to find a way back the whole time is she going to try and um become ready to go back to the real world the whole time is it just going to be an exploration of like characters and friendship or so many other things like it could be so many other options as well so yeah i'm really intrigued to keep reading i don't know if i will check in again before finishing this because my entire plan for today is to clean and dye my hair so that makes me think because the audiobook is so good and so quick it makes me think that i might only like listen as i'm doing those things and be done by the time i'm done really fun really exciting having a great time like honestly really glad that i've picked this one to start with but i have no worried it's going to be the best so here we go let's keep reading a few hours a cleaner house and potentially better hair later i can tell you i've given this 4.5 stars I really enjoyed it. I had a great time. It wasn't quite five stars for me, but I feel like depending on the like book in the series and what characters we do get perspectives from in the future, this series has potential to give me five stars and 4.5 stars is still an amazingly good rating. I really had a fun time with this. I I did unfortunately guess the who done it person but i did not guess the ending and the ending really like pleasantly surprised me this is classed as like fantasy but then like magical realism within that as well like it definitely is fantasy but it was very subtle like i enjoyed what we got to do and i enjoyed what we saw yeah it was fun it, it, it was fun and interesting and yeah had a really great time of it i can't really say much more about spoilers and i don't think i need to go into spoilers like this was a good book it was a good novella it has so much potential for future books and like obviously that's true because i think there's like eight books out now so yeah really intrigued really interested definitely want to know more about the side characters and like i have heard that like different books in the series follow different characters um some of the side characters that we met were so so interesting um it had lots of representation as well and just really normalized everything um and exactly who the characters were and just made everything okay and learning how these different characters went to different worlds and learning little bits and pieces about them and maybe like associating a personality trait with something they might have experienced and just really trying to figure out their backstories yeah really really good really had a great time would definitely recommend so let's move on to book two book two is fina or finer i've looked no doubt of the audiobook available to me i i've basically pronounced this both ways every time i've mentioned it in like hauls and tbr videos and i've just been like fina finer i'll figure it out when i listen to the audiobook the audiobook isn't available in like the uk on script it says like not available in this country so i do need to find like an author interview or something to figure out how to actually pronounce the title of the book first so i will do that before i start reading it yeah this sounds really interesting i'm not going to read the entire back of it i don't think because essentially what i've got is there's a box furniture store that's weird it's quirky it's like sci-fi and in this weird furniture store a like grandma customer stumbles through a portal and is going through like the multiverse and going through like multiple dimensions within to 
colleagues like minimum wage employees of the store need to follow after her and get her back before like something happens and it also just so happens that those colleagues used to date and there's a history there as well i mean like, honestly the back says it better i will zoom in if you want to read the back you can you can pause it now and read the back of it and get like the full thing but i think i summarized it relatively well so yeah that's what i'm going to start reading tonight um I don't know how far I'll get in, but once again, I'll probably just check in in the morning and let you know my initial thoughts. I think a third of the way, which is pretty much what I was in the previous book, was a really decent way to check in. So I'll probably aim to get a third of the way in tonight so I can check in in the morning with my initial thoughts. Okay, so last night I made it to chapter four of Fina. I'm no confident you pronounce it Fina. I managed to find a video. Yeah, I am really enjoying this so far. So I've got to chapter four, which is 57 pages in. And it's been fun. I think that's the best word to describe this so far. It's just fun. It's been silly and fun. I was a bit worried going into it that it would be very structured. And I, I definitely expected it to be a lot more serious than it is. But the way the world is set up and like described on the back it tells you this thing as a fact, you know, this um, elderly customer slips through a portal. But it turns out that like all of this stuff isn't necessarily like common knowledge to people and common knowledge to how these things work. And the way that like we got given that information of like what was going on, how it was working and all of that was very fun. It was in like a very like, not like humorous, like ha ha funny, but like humorous is in like, I don't, I don't know, it, it was, it was good. It was good i enjoyed it so yeah i am very happy with this so far i think it's fun that, that is the only way i can think to describe it it has by this point it's set up what's going to happen it's set up what's you know basically what's been said on the back now so we have now gone through the portal and we are after this grandma it does say that on the back and we're searching we're we're searching there's already been some things that i haven't expected and there's already been some like cool interesting stuff spoken about so yeah really intrigued and ready to continue so hopefully i'll get a chance to read more today <laughs> Hello, so I haven't checked in since yesterday morning, but I have just finished this book and I'm giving it five stars. It was great. Um, it was so much fun. It was so easy to read, but it also was like very important. It had a few like important topics. I really liked where it went. I liked our main character's development throughout it. If you can hear noises, Jay's currently making his tea. Um, but yeah, it was really, really good. And now what I want to do, because it's a five star read and I know I definitely want to take a picture of it, 
I think I'm gonna get, if you can see the front, it's got loads of like Allen keys and screws and like, um, like many different things. So I'm gonna go through my DIY drawers, I think, at some point and like get all of the bits out that are on the front and see if I can take a cool picture that way. Don't know how it'll turn out, but that's definitely something I wanna do. I don't have a lot I can say about this without spoiling this. Uh, because it was so short and the story to be honest i feel like even going in knowing less than what's on the back is ideal yeah but the story was really really good it had some interesting twists that i didn't see coming in fact it had a few twists that i just did not see coming even knowing the characters and their intentions i still didn't see the twist coming and i'm like what happened happened so yeah really intrigued um i have already looked on goodreads because there is a second book in this universe but it follows different characters um but the book definitely ends in a way where like it could just end like that and have an open ending or we could in the future get another book following these characters and to be honest i'd be very happy to see that and see where we end up so yeah really good really fun really glad i read it sorry i don't have much to say but i just don't want to risk spoiling it i would definitely say if you want a fun uh kind of a bit silly but interesting with interesting like conversations and topics about um many different things then it is definitely one that i'd say pick up give a go um and the ebook for this is on scribd as well um so you can always give it a go so there my camera battery is flashing so i'm going to try and do this as quickly as possible but my next read is going to be comfort move apples i've got this one left and another one left this one's horror the other one's sci-fi i thought i'd pick the horror next and uh read the horror in between two sci-fis rather than reading two sci-fis back to back just thought that made sense i already know the twist in this this is the one for this video that i'm not so sure about the one that i feel like could potentially get a lower score I am really worried that going into this, already knowing the twist and already knowing what it is, is going to really affect my enjoyment. It has been a while since I got sport for it. Uh, I've seen many people read it, rate it really highly. My boyfriend has already read this one, read it in one night, rated it really highly. And yeah, I, I do really want to give it a go. So this is Comfort Move Apples and I will read the little synopsis here. And then we'll get reading and I'll once again check in at round a third of the way in. Sophia was made for him, her perfect husband. She can feel it in her bones. He is perfect. Their home together in Arcadia Gardens is perfect. Everything is perfect. It's just that he's away so much, so often. He works so hard. She misses him and he misses her. He says he does, so it must be true. He is the perfect husband and everything is perfect. But sometimes Sophia wonders about things, strange things, dark things. The look on her husband's face when he comes back from a long business trip. The questions he will not answer. The locked basement she's never allowed to enter. And whenever she talks to the neighbours, they can't quite meet her gaze. But everything is perfect, isn't it? It sounds so good. I really hope I have a good time with this. I haven't read, like, a good horror, honestly, many, many years. Like, I don't think there's any books that I would class as true horrors that I've read except for like the Darren Shan books and I haven't enjoyed those so yeah really intrigued really want to read it really want to know more and I'm really really excited about this one okay so we are having a cozy chill morning but before I went to bed last night I did get 35 pages into this one which is about a third of the way that's kind of where I worked out to be I am intrigued I'm liking it um oh i i definitely feel like knowing the twist and reading it i can see where things are going but it's also not as weird as i expected i don't know i expected it to be i don't know just a bit weirder um i'm still enjoying it it's still a decent time there's still enough going on but to say i'm a third of the way through i'm a bit confused as to how we're gonna get like a complete story in the next like two thirds of this like i don't know like so far we've literally only had introductions to everything and how everything works um, and we are still getting that throughout so i don't know i'm enjoying it i'm having fun i think it's hopefully going to be decent um i've got the little boy joining me this morning so we're gonna have some reading time i'm gonna do a bit more reading and yeah hopefully it just all goes to the naturally I, I think what i'm most worried about right now is it's going to feel really rushed because i'm not sure how they're going to get the rest of this story into this knowing what the twist is like i don't know if i'd feel that way if i didn't know what the twist is but i do um so i, I do think that knowing it is impacting me 
in my reading. I'm still enjoying it, so I feel like that's something. But that was what I was worried about with this one. I'm pretty sure I said that when I introduced it. So, yeah. Um, let's keep reading. Okay, so I have finished Comfort with Apples. I ended up reading most of the second part of it, just like as an ebook on my laptop, free script. But yeah, really enjoyed it. I had fun, but like it was lacking. And if I'm being honest, I feel like what it was lacking was what I'd got spoilt for. Like I think I would have got a lot more enjoyment out of it if I hadn't have been spoilt for the twist. And I'm gonna make a note of that in like my like review online and stuff. But I think I'm only gonna give it 3.5 stars. I don't think I can give it more than that. It didn't really capture my attention. I feel like if it wasn't this short and I didn't just want to like read it and like get through it and like. I don't know, maybe it did intrigue, it didn't intrigue me, but I did want to get to the end of it, but I don't think that was, like, based on the book. I think that was based on wanting to know, like, when we find out this reveal, when this is going to happen, when that's going to happen, like, based on what I already knew, ba rather than based on what the book was doing. I don't know. Like, it was good, and I think, unfortunately, this, this has suffered because I got sport for the spoiler, and I just don't think it stands up the same way as it would if. I was being shocked because if I'm being honest I don't think I would have guessed the spoiler like I, I've read through this now you know I, I, there's a small chance that I would have got the correct theming in my guess but I, I don't think I would have got the actual thing in my guess so yeah I'm gonna give it 3.5 star but with the like asterisk of I'd been spoiled for it before yeah which is a shame. I definitely will try out another like horror novella at some point. I don't even know what is currently out, so that's definitely something I want to look into because this was, it was fun. It was good. I, it was written well. It was easy to read. You know, I've read it in a day, no problem. But yeah, unfortunately, I don't have a lot to add. I just feel very disappointed that I was spoiled for this and that that did impact my reading experience. So the last book I'm going to be reading for this are all tour novellas a hit is A Song for the World Built. I don't know why I did that like it was a big reveal like I will have spoken about all these at the start. I haven't filmed the introduction yet which is probably what I've felt like that was a big reveal but yeah this is the final book I'm going to give a go I have high hopes for this one as well honestly I think it's going to be fun I think it's going to be good I've only heard great things actually and a podcast came out two days ago and like one of the hosts Ariel Bissett had like just finished reading it and was talking about it then and I feel like I've even seen this in like a couple of people's wrap-ups this month that I've watched and like I don't know when this came out but it, it wasn't super recent it was okay it was 2021 which is like more recent than expected to be honest this is the final book this is another sci-fi and i've kind of heard this described as like a cozy sci-fi which like i've read a cozy fantasy and i've read some cozy mysteries so you know they were hits i'm sure this will hopefully be too so let's read the inside it's been centuries since the robots of Panja gained self-awareness and laid down their tools. Centuries since they wandered en masse into the wilderness, never to be seen again. Centuries since they faded into myth and urban legend. One day, the life of a tea monk is upended by the arrival of a robot there to honour the old promise of checking in. The robot has one question, what do people need? But the answer to that question depends on who you ask and how. They're going to need to ask it a lot. That just sounds so fun. It sounds so good. I'm really intrigued, really excited. I just feel like it's going to be a great time. So that's what we're going to do now. As always, I'll probably check in after I am a third of the way through and then check in at the end. Let's get reading and get my initial thoughts on this. Okay, just a quick update. Um, a few pages into this but i've basically got a cracking headache and i definitely don't feel up for reading today definitely not a new world i don't think i feel up for it at all to be honest which is extremely annoying but i'll come back probably tomorrow maybe later today we'll keep our fingers crossed maybe the headache goes away but yeah that's my okay route. so i've been reading this i've got to chapter three which is page 51 so pretty much exactly a third of the way in um i don't know i don't think it's working for me i'm extremely shocked i don't really know how to feel about it yeah 
Oh, it's not it's not bad. Like, uh, let's say that first of all. Like, it's not bad. Like, it's a fine book. I'm not disliking it, really. I'm just having a lot of trouble with it that I wasn't expecting. Like, I don't want to come on here and be, like, only negative. But I only ever hear amazing things about this book. Like, I don't think I've ever heard anything bad except for the fact, like, the pacing in the middle is really slow. I think that is literally the only bad thing I've ever heard about this book. Yeah, I am not loving it I, I think the problem is our main character dex sibling dex they the way they're coming across i don't like i also wasn't expecting the religious aspects of this book to be like quite so like prevalent in it like i don't care it's not bad it's fine like what they want out of life like or what is coming across that they want seems fine but then the way they're describing that they're like feel about themselves or the way that they're they're describing how they're acting doesn't seem fine like i there's no real way for me to talk about, about it with spoilers but there's certain descriptive words that they've used when they've made certain actions so for instance they, they did something for themselves that wasn't even a major thing it was nothing major like i, I don't think it's like pivotal or anything like that and they described it as a rebellious act um and it wasn't. It was just a normal act. They wanted to do something, so they did it. There should be nothing wrong with that. Yeah, and it's just things like that, honestly. Like, I'm not hating it, but I, I don't... I haven't learnt much. I'm a third of the way in. Like, two years and three months has passed, I think. Like, quite a lot of time has passed, but, like, we haven't seen it. We just keep getting snippets from here and there. The robot has just arrived. Like, the robot has literally arrived two paragraphs before the end of the chapter two like the robot has arrived like on the page before chapter three the robot has arrived one third into the book and like i don't know yeah so apart from that i also feel like i already know exactly where the books go in like we've seen the wants and needs we've seen the desires uh, oh, i'm i'm really shocked i'm not loving it I honestly expected this to be like five stars new favourite like everything I've heard about this has been great and sounded exactly like what I like uh sci-fi robot that aspect's great and then like cozy fun chill heartwarming vibe great like uh, yeah I don't know maybe I'm just tired I've had a headache for most of the day I'm gonna put it down for tonight and I'm gonna pick it back up tomorrow after I've like got myself ready for the day and I'm feeling good and like you know hopeful mood I've just finished this and I have no clue what rating I'm giving it right now to be honest like I, I literally finished it like 30 seconds ago uh the last quarter of this was like five stars the last quarter was great it was fun uh we got to see lots of things we got to experience lots of things we got thoughts from both uh Dex and Moscap and we really just you know had a decent time 
the first three quarters of this it seemed like our main character like dex they were just an asshole for the sake of being an asshole and i really couldn't deal um i know i checked in last night before bed but i was absolutely knackered so i feel like the amount of that that you've seen is probably very little but yeah I, at the one third of the way through mark i was not having a good time like at the one third of the way through i didn't see a way it could get better or a way that the book could get more than three stars honestly it still might be a three star now like i need to think about it because just because the last quarter was great and that makes me want to continue like like the start was dreadful like i really didn't have a fun time at the start i didn't enjoy it I, I do think a lot of the reason i wasn't enjoying it and haven't enjoyed parts of this was the religious aspects of the books like i don't pick up books that have like major parts of religion in them because like, i just don't enjoy that I, I don't um i will say i feel like throughout this the robot was a very grounding very logical voice and that definitely helped that especially towards the end it helped me not feel so like uh, like it was a slog to get through those like parts but yeah i don't know i am so confused like it was good don't get me wrong it was good and i feel like a lot of people will enjoy this like i think it's overhyped i think that's what i'm like coming down to it is really overhyped it, it didn't pick up to the last quarter of the book and i do think there is a second book out i think it's just a geology so i'm intrigued like to pick up the second book because of how it ended and because of that last quarter but it shouldn't take three quarters of a book to get me like actually liking the character like it got one tab in there like a book like this with like a hot woman character who is like easy to follow and by this i'm talking about the robot because to be honest like i'd warm to dex a bit by the end but not majorly but I, I did like moss cap i did like the robot um it was very like fun to see um its perspective it didn't give me the feels i was expecting it didn't give me a lot of the things i was expecting from it um that i didn't feel like were unrealistic expectations and yeah i i'm leaning towards giving it 3.5 stars because i do I, I feel like I'm probably just going to give it 3.5 stars and call it a day to be honest because like I don't need to stress about what rating I'm giving it like the rating doesn't technically mean anything and 3.5 stars feels right so yeah a song for the wild bill 3.5 stars I enjoyed it if you like this sort of book I, I, I would say give it a go but I'd, I wouldn't go into it expecting it to be like super amazing I feel like it's getting hyped up a lot and I just yeah it was okay it was fine it was fun by the last quarter i'm intrigued to continue but it's difficult to get into and it was difficult to warm up to the characters so okay yeah. so as you've seen i have now finished all the books i read all four of these i think they're good um overall i do still trust Tor. obviously like these two great for me that those are the ones that i've already read um, every heart of doorway amazing will 100% be continuing on with the series like literally can't wait to continue on with it i found it's so much fun fina absolutely amazing will 100% be continuing on so what i will say is so far we've got a young adult fantasy and an adult sci-fi series so that's kind of you know so sci-fi seems good right um <laughs> and then we had comfort with apples which i don't feel like completely got a fair shot but i still gave it 3.5 stars i still had a good time but unfortunately because i was spoiled for it before going in i do feel like that did severely impact my reading and then obviously we had a song for the world built which is what you just saw me finish um yeah this one just didn't hit for me so i don't know overall now i've read well more than six tour novellas but tour novellas from across six different series standalones worlds however you want to word it um over six different authors and overall i would recommend for absolutely anyone who likes the genre to pick up all of them to be honest like i do still think that tour are pretty easy to trust i think you know you're going to be getting something good you're going to be getting something quality i feel like all of these you at least by the end um are really going to care about the characters want to know more want to know more about the world the only one i haven't felt like that for by the end like wanting to know more and find out more is this one but this was a standalone so it's actually great that i don't feel like that and that i feel like it's concluded every like series i've read 
by the end of the book you want to be picking up the next one straight away which you like exactly what i've done for murder but i've got all the murder book books here um and i've already got onto the second book of binti which are like the, the two series that i'd started before this video and yeah i'm already trying my best to complete my book bingo so that i'm able to buy more books and continue on with the rest of the series i think honestly for me right now i think i'm prioritizing every heart of doorway and fina right now every heart of doorway i really want to get on with that story and like find out more about all these different people um, and what their stories are and what their background is and see these different worlds and for fina like i'm pretty sure it's only a duology and the world was just so much fun like i can't wait to pick it up um, I feel like it's going to come in amazing. Uh, one of the days where I just want a fun, silly time, but like the best time, I'll pick up the second book for sure. So, yeah. Jeff's back. So, I think that's time to call the video to an end. Uh, any questions, any queries, leave them in the comments down below and I will try my best to answer them. Do give the video a like if you liked it. Subscribe down below if you'd like to see more content like this. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye! Why are you photobombing?